For the last few years, several drugs primarily used as type 2 diabetes treatments and one bright yellow supplement hyped as the natural replacement for both of them have gained popularity on social media and TV for their other purported uses, namely weight loss and longevity. I'll go through these one at a time so you'll have some clarity by the end of this video. Welcome to House of Longevity. Now let's get into it. The first is metformin. Metformin has been used to treat diabetes since the 1950s and has been available in the U.S. since 1995. It's derived from the French lilac, which has been a source of medicine for centuries, though the mechanisms behind how it worked was unknown until the 20th century. Metformin works in two ways. First, it regulates how much glucose is released from the liver into the bloodstream. And second, it helps the cells absorb more glucose from the blood. It's gained a lot of attention for its potential role in promoting longevity and reducing age-related diseases in humans. Here are some of the proposed pathways and effects of metformin that contribute to its potential positive impact on longevity. Insulin Sensitivity Metformin improves insulin sensitivity, helping the body use insulin more effectively. This can lower blood glucose levels and decrease the risk or symptoms of type 2 diabetes. AMPK Activation Metformin activates AMPK, a cellular energy sensor. This activation may mimic the effects of calorie restriction, which is known to promote longevity in various organisms. Reduction of Chronic Inflammation Metformin has anti-inflammatory effects, potentially reducing chronic inflammation, which is linked to many age-related diseases. mTOR Pathway Modulation Metformin may influence the mTOR, mammalian target of rapamycin, pathway, which plays a role in cell growth, proliferation, and autophagy. Modulating this pathway is associated with increased lifespan in some studies. Mitochondrial function. Metformin might impact mitochondrial function, thus improving cellular energy production and resilience. Cancer risk reduction. Some studies suggest that metformin could reduce the risk of certain cancers, and since cancer risk increases with age, this potential effect might contribute to increased longevity. Cardiovascular protection. Metformin is known to have cardiovascular benefits, such as improving lipid profiles and reducing the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Improved metabolic health. By addressing metabolic syndrome and related conditions, Metformin may contribute to overall health and longevity. Results from studies and anecdotal reports on metformin are hopeful. I'll mention the downside of all three of these interventions towards the end. Semaglutide, more commonly known by the brand names Ozempic and Wagovi, is a GLP-1 receptor agonist that is primarily used to manage blood sugar. When it was discovered that people on Ozempic were not only controlling their diabetes but also losing weight, things got a little crazy, leading to the inevitable approval of Wagovi, the same drug to be prescribed for weight loss. There are several ways in which semaglutide might contribute to improved health and longevity. Blood sugar control. Ozempic belongs to a class of medications called glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor agonists or GLP-1 receptor agonists. By mimicking the action of GLP-1, it helps regulate blood sugar levels, preventing complications associated with diabetes. Weight Management GLP-1 receptor agonists like Ozempic or Wagovi have been associated with weight loss. Weight management is linked to improved overall health, reducing the risk of obesity-related conditions, and potentially contributing to longevity. Cardiovascular Benefits The double-blind, randomized, SELECT study showed that once-weekly injections of semaglutide showed a statistically significant 20% reduction in major adverse cardiovascular events compared with a placebo. Blood Pressure Regulation GLP-1 receptor agonists may have blood pressure-lowering effects, promoting cardiovascular health. Maintaining healthy blood pressure levels is essential for preventing heart disease and related complications. Anti-inflammatory effects. GLP-1 receptor agonists have demonstrated anti-inflammatory properties in some studies. Neuroprotective effects. 
there have been several studies suggesting potential neuroprotective effects of GLP-1 receptor agonists like semaglutide. Protecting the health of the nervous system and brain have positive implications for cognitive function and longevity. Gut Hormone Regulation GLP-1 receptor agonists influence gut hormones, which play a role in appetite regulation and digestion. These effects may contribute to weight management and metabolic health. Liver Health Some research indicates that GLP-1 receptor agonists may have positive effects on liver health, potentially reducing the risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Studies on semaglutide have been ongoing for a decade. New uses and positive effects keep popping up, which will likely lead to a continued high demand for the drug. And finally, berberine. Social media platforms, especially TikTok and YouTube, have lost their collective minds over this inexpensive little supplement, claiming it can replace Ozempic or Metformin. That's the reason I saved this for last. Berberine is a compound found in several plants, including golden seal and barberry, and has been used in traditional Chinese and Ayurvedic medicine for millennia. Here are several ways berberine might contribute to increase longevity. Metabolic health improvement, similar to both metformin and semaglutide. AMPK activation, similar to metformin. Anti-inflammatory effects, similar to both metformin and semaglutide. Cardiovascular benefits, closer to the effects of metformin than semaglutide, but positive nonetheless. Mitochondrial function, similar to metformin. Neuroprotective effects, similar to semaglutide. Antioxidant properties. Berberine exhibits antioxidant effects, helping to neutralize harmful free radicals in the body. Oxidative stress caused by an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants is associated with aging and age-related diseases. Metformin, in all its combined processes and mechanisms, exerts antioxidant effects as well. Cancer risk reduction, similar to metformin. Weight management. Berberine is shown to suppress the appetite, reduce fat accumulation, and increase thermogenesis, the process by which the body burns calories, though these effects will vary from person to person. It's hard to say if it's similar to Ozempic, since the mechanism is different. So there you have the benefits and similarities between the three. The downsides of metformin, semaglutide, and berberine. All three of these substances report the typical potential side effects, which are nausea, stomach pain, vomiting, constipation, and diarrhea. Pretty standard stuff. But there is more. Metformin. One of the main downsides of metformin in terms of longevity is how it can inhibit muscle growth when using it. You may also develop a B12 deficiency and experience low blood sugar, which makes sense. Semaglutide. A side effect of semaglutide worth mentioning is the likelihood of regaining any weight lost after stopping treatment. And there's also something called ozempic face, where your face may look gaunt or saggy from rapid weight loss. Berberine. Other than the GI-related side effects, there isn't much to worry about. Most studies on berberine use between 500 and 1500 milligrams per day. Generally, there is a reason for that. Higher doses might increase the likelihood of diarrhea and all that other fun stuff. More isn't always better or more effective. There are many other potential side effects for these three molecules, depending on how your body reacts, much like with any other supplement or drug you might take. Doing a simple search will give you several nightmares worth of possible downsides. Conclusion These three substances are constantly being studied and new use cases pop up all the time, leading to even more research. While berberine has been used in Ayurvedic and Chinese medicine for millennia, and metformin has close to 30 years as a prescription diabetes drug in the U.S. under its belt, semaglutide is a relative newcomer, with only six years on the market as a diabetes treatment and even fewer years as a weight loss drug. The longevity effects seem primarily to be the slowing or preventing of aging-related diseases, which isn't nothing. Consult a healthcare professional or do more research than watching just this one video before taking any of these. 
Overall, based on multiple berberine studies, you will get some results with little expense or risk from this over-the-counter supplement. As for me, I currently take berberine twice a day and find it works to suppress my appetite and stabilize my energy. And this leads me to my channel partner, DoNotAge.org, a health research organization. You can save an instant 10% by using the coupon code STARK and up to 40% by subscribing to a supplement for a year. Check the description where I'll include my links and update it with info on big sales offers. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And check out one of these videos next.